well also. Hi Sarah. That's somebody in my grad program who found my videos today and I hate when people in real life watch my videos. It just gives me this weird anxiety. Let me know if you guys feel that way if you also make them but I need to get over that anyway so that's fine. But today I'll be doing a quick spoiler free review of the Grown Up by Gillian Flynn followed by my giveaway of Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson. So this is just around 60 pages and it was originally a part of a larger collection of short stories with George R. R. Martin but they went ahead and released it on its own. And before I get into a little spoiler free summary of it, I'm just going to read you the first two lines of it just to go ahead and set the tone. You'll see what I mean. So it says, <coughs> I didn't stop giving hand jobs because I wasn't good at it. I stopped giving hand jobs because I was the best at it. So in your typical Gillian Flynn fashion, we have quite a snarky, a very strong female protagonist from a very damaged background, not necessarily doing the best of things to make money. In this book, she's very good at reading human behavior. So among a few other things that she does, which you can probably guess, she pretends to read people's auras for money at this kind of tarot card, palm reading type shop. One day, a very beautiful, wealthy young woman who's also quite disturbed and sad walks into her shop. They start a rapport and she asks her for help and says that her house, which is this Victorian mansion her husband and her two sons have recently moved into, she thinks it's possibly haunted and she thinks it's possibly causing her already quite disturbed teenage son to act out even more in, in a kind of even more heinous fashion. So the protagonist in this book, who I'm now just realizing it, I don't think she had a name throughout this whole thing but she says that of course she can cleanse their house for some extra money so she goes ahead and starts visiting them to do that and then it gets more and more terrifying from there. So first I will go ahead and get into my pros. Unlike a lot of Gillian Flynn's books and I will just point it out in case anybody comments and says I'm pronouncing her right name wrong. I know that 99% of people with their name like this say it Gillian but I've seen in reviews or interviews that she says Gillian so that's what I do. But one of my main pros for this book was although Previously with her books, obviously I tend to be quite tense or quite sad and distraught. This is the first time I was genuinely scared and genuinely creeped out. Before they actually went to the house, I kind of thought, oh, am I actually going to find the house very creepy? But it really did have a very oppressive quality, and the house isn't creepy in a way that you would anticipate it would be prior to when she actually starts going there. Also, for a short story, I thought that our protagonist and the characters are fairly well fleshed out. At the beginning, I did think, oh, are they going into too much background for this protagonist? They talk about how she lived on the streets begging for money growing up. Well, not living on the streets, but she did beg for money on the streets. But I think for a short story that made it feel much more grounded than if, than if they were to have just gone straight into the plot. There's also a surprising amount of humor in this that I do think worked really well with everything else going on. But overall I think if you enjoy her writing and if you miss her writing extremely like I do, I would recommend checking this out. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. But of course this is me so I don't ever think a book is 100% perfect so I'm going to get into a few cons. So the main one for me is the beginning aspect aspect when you're hearing about the protagonist's backstory and her because Gillian Flynn tends to have a lot of damaged female main characters it almost felt a bit forced and a bit like of a caricature of one of her characters. I don't know how to describe it but just some of the phrases that they used it just felt a bit I'm gonna sound like my English friends but it just felt a bit full-on and not in a realistic way. I thought towards the end of the book I also thought that there was just a lot of exposition. I understand why she did it that way because this is a short story and, and it's possible she was given a really specific page length but I just wish there would have been a few more pages so when things start to be revealed um, you'll see what I mean when you read it. I, I just wish that scene would have been done in a bit of a different way. I'm just not a fan of finding things out all at once with a ton of exposition. So overall if you like Gillian Flynn you're going to like this. I think I gave this 3.5 or 4 out of 5 stars. It's dark and twisted and fun. Much more upbeat I would say if you could call it that in comparison to a lot of her other books. So if you're wanting something to tide you over until her next book finally comes out. If anybody has information on that and wants to share it with me please feel free to share, then I would definitely recommend this. Now for the giveaway of the Picador Modern Classic. But so I randomly went through the comments and I took a screenshot of it. Where is it? So the winner of this book is Megan Dis... 
Cyper. I'm only gonna try saying that name once, but I, but go ahead and either comment down below or message me. If you don't in a couple days, I'll message you, but I just think it's more exciting to find out you want to give away in the video than through a message. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you've read The Grown Up, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if there are any other psychological thrillers you would recommend, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.